Hey everybody, how's it going? It's yours truly. I'm going to show you how to get really great professional sounding audio with inferior audio equipment. You don't need a fancy preamp or an audio interface or in my case I'm utilizing the Neumann BCM705. It's a $700 microphone. Of course you have seen other people use uh, sure SM7Bs. There's a lot of variety from Rode high-end microphones, really top-notch high-quality microphones around $200 to $500. If you don't have the money for all those things and all you have are you know your little AirPods or maybe you got the little Galaxy Buds from Samsung or maybe you got a $30, $40 USB-C earbud from Skull Candy with a little microphone and it's really meant to be used with like laptops and phones or in, in this case for demonstration purposes I am using a Rode Lav 2 and I'm using it in conjunction with the Tascam DR40X it's a field recorder and an audio interface and the audio doesn't sound good so let's start fixing it right now the first problem I notice is that I'm only coming in in one ear and not both, okay? That's really annoying. So this is actually really easy to fix. So over on the audio mixer portion of OBS, you can click on the little gear icon. And by the way, my microphone is coming from this audio device here, the Tascam DR40X, obviously. So click on the little gear icon in the bottom left-hand corner. All right, so we're gonna look for our audio interface or our recording device or our microphone, whatever it may be. So in my case, it's a Tascam DR40X. And over here, we're gonna click on the little box right below mono. All right, so that already fixed the problem. Uh, here, you know what, let me go ahead and pull that back up. Let me explain what is happening and why you only hear me in one ear and not both, or why you only heard me in one ear and not both initially. And that is because some audio interfaces or maybe all audio interfaces, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't use every single one. I've never used every single one. But my audio interface has a left and right channel. I obviously am only using one, which is the left one. And I don't have an option to uh, set it to mono mode. It is in stereo. However, there's a fix in OBS, so that's, this isn't a big deal. So we've already solved that problem. Already this audio, while not the best, it is usable. Now, in order to get crystal clear really great sounding audio without breaking the bank without having to go to the store and buy a bunch of audio equipment let's go ahead and go to sources and we're going to right click it and we're going to click on filters now we're not really necessarily going to apply filters we're going to be applying vsts there it is obs is running a little slow okay so on the bottom left hand corner we are going to go ahead and click the plus sign. Now there's already a bunch of really great options here that are afforded to the user, the streamer, etc. Uh, there's a compressor, there's an expander, there's a gain, there's a limiter, there's a noise gate, there's a noise suppression. You can play around with these and you can significantly improve, uh, improve upon the audio with just these. However, if you go online and you buy um, third party VSTs. VSC stands for virtual sound technology. I'm going to go ahead and throw up images of what those look like up on the screen. So there's digital versions of this sound technology and that's what a VST is. Okay. And I went ahead and I have some from Fruity Loop Studio because I, I own it and a bunch from Wave Central. So we're going to use the ones from Wave Central just because it's a lot easier to deploy. Uh, using their their official programs so or their official apps so I'm just going to name rename as Waves Central VSTs or I'm just going to plug it click OK all right so I'm going to leave a link in the description to Wave Central's website and I'm also going to leave a link in the description uh, about Wave Studio Rack I'm going to try to explain it really quickly okay so on this drop down menu you see FL Studio VSTIs etc so if I really wanted to use FL Studio uh, plugins I could but we're gonna use wave studio rack for OBS and then I'm just gonna click open plugin interface we're gonna close out of this we don't really need it anymore all right so I'm gonna move this over here so let me explain wave studio rack very very quickly it's essentially a platform where you can deploy audio effects and VSTs onto the sound source that you want so for us it is going to be the task MDR 40 X audio interface with the Rode lav mic 2 connected to it. Okay. So, uh, the first thing that I want to clear up and just to show you the power of the studio verse, 
uh, the audio effects rack or what it, 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 they call it the audio effects rack or the studio rack they call it a bunch of things I don't know who cares uh, links are in the description so we're gonna go ahead and click the plus sign and let's go ahead and reduce that noise okay you guys hear uh, how it sounds now there's NS1 and there's Clarity VX these are both uh, noise removers I'm gonna use Clarity VX because I think this is a better one but NS1 is a lot easier to use so let's go ahead and click Clarity VX all right this is really really cool it was really really fancy so I'm gonna shut up okay I'm gonna shut up listen to the noise go away just by dialing this up but before I do that um, if you don't like you know the the results here you know over here on the left hand side you know maybe change it to broad too maybe change it to broad echo okay um, we're gonna leave it at broad one uh, I wouldn't mess with these unless you absolutely know what you're doing also there's a bunch of presets on the top left hand uh, or on the top middle portion of this VST you know just go ahead and play around with these okay go ahead and play around with these so let's just go ahead and start removing the noise very quickly okay so 55 sounds uh 55 around 55.5 that's that's like the sweet spot this sounds way better so much better but can we improve upon this the answer is yes the answer is absolutely yes so i'm using a lavalier microphone it doesn't have a lot of uh, oomph to it right it's not that uh you know it, it, it's really really loud right the, the audio that it captures is really really loud so let's go ahead and um let's do maybe an eq no uh dynamics yeah how about the gw voice centric app whoa that's not what i want but there's an option right up here in the center top center again uh, voice podcast all right that sounds so much better way better testing one two test test wow we could pretty much stop right here if we really wanted to however i have uh i was a survivor of the whipping cough as an adult i nearly died because of it and as a result i have very awkward breathing if you have awkward breathing like you have asthma or maybe you're overweight I'm, I'm not no offense or in my case your lungs were you know damaged beyond repair and uh <laughs> you have awkward breathing we can, we can clear that up we can actually clean that up okay so um there are like deep breathers and stuff out there uh, i don't have one uh set up here however uh we do have a psc this is an expander again um OBS offers one of these but this one might be significantly better again there are plenty of tutorials on how to use this in my experience you don't really need to mess with a lot of these settings uh, when you do it's usually because you're plugging in like an instrument or something a lot of instruments benefit from uh, these types of expanders however we can remove the awkward breathing noise okay so if I'm gonna go ahead and um, let's go ahead and dial this up uh to let's say i think 30 would be the sweet spot right there okay so i'm gonna go ahead and breathe <sighs> I, obviously i don't breathe like that but my breathing my awkward breathing noises is, is in the orange okay so usually my breaths will drag behind the last word i speak in a sentence so i'd be like oh yeah i like cheese all right so um now now that we have the threshold up here let's go ahead and uh, set the range uh it doesn't have to be 30 um usually about half or at least five below uh generally produces the best results so let's see testing one two testing one two yeah that sounds really good all right so yeah so i can hear it when i monitor it but i don't hear it it shouldn't be picked up anymore in actual obs so in the final streaming product it should be completely gone and i'm only using these three okay now there are a bunch of other vsts that you can deploy to help make your audio experience top notch when you're streaming you can uh, apply a noise gate again uh, all kinds of really cool stuff and just one piece of advice is like don't go overboard with vsts and spending a bunch of money and stuff just because you spend a lot of money on vsts doesn't mean it's going to make you sound good if you don't know what you're doing um, there's also a philosophical component to this like you don't want to change your voice to sound like something that it isn't okay like don't be something or someone that you're not don't sound like something or someone that you're not 
It's off-putting and distracting. Embrace your voice. It's unique, okay? It's yours. You were born with it. You know, sometimes, you know, people get sick. Sometimes people have illness. And, you know, sometimes uh, people's microphones aren't that good. That's why you want to use these tools because you want to be able to be confident in your speech. You want to be confident with the streams and the products that you put out there, the content that you put out there. And you want the people listening to enjoy it. So you can definitely use... Um, these techniques, you can use these products. Of course, you don't have to use, um, you know, Waves, uh, Studio Verse, Audio Effects, Studio Rack, whatever. You can use Reapers, uh, really, really great uh, VSTs, and they're free for the most part. Um, there's a bunch of free VSTs that exist, a lot of really obscure ones that will basically do what I'm showing you. However, I, I have the money, so I don't mind paying for these. I think they're wonderful, and I think the studio rack is excellent. And of course, I use these in, uh, when creating music as well. And uh, yeah, so um, if this was helpful, go ahead and leave a like and uh, leave a nice comment. And of course, uh, I, would, I would greatly appreciate any support for my small channel uh, to help me remain independent. Generous donation in my cash up would be much appreciated if you found this useful. And um, if you need any more advice, you have any more questions, again, just feel free to ask. I am an open book. Uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Peace out.